SBFalcons.com here with senior Joby Wall after a 59-56 victory over Alaska Anchorage. Uh, Joby, really hard fought, come from behind win. Your thoughts? Yeah, it was it was a battle all night. Kind of kind of had to grind it out a little bit, um, but it was a really really big win for us. I'm really proud of it. The way our guys kept fighting in the second half and uh, just kind of stayed the course and found a way to get it done. The team trailed by as many as 12 in the first half, and it was 28-20 uh, deficit at halftime. Uh, what did your team uh, do to adjust for the second half? Yeah, I, I thought Anchorage did a really good job in the first half, kind of coming out and taking us out of some of our stuff, and um, played real physical with us. And I think the second half, we kind of just tried to trust our, our system a little bit more and uh, share the ball a little bit more. And uh, ultimately, we just we hit some shots in the second half and, and played some good defense, and it kind of got us back in the game. You mentioned hitting shots in the second half. All of your shots that you hit were in the second half. You were scoreless in the first and had 13 in the second. Uh, including the go-ahead three-pointer. Uh, what do you remember? Can you describe what happened on that baseline uh, three? Yeah, I think it was stocked and drove baseline on it, and um, my guy kind of turned his head a little bit, and I was able to drift to the corner and got an open look. Stockton made a great pass, and, and the shot went down. But it, it was a pretty neat feeling. The gym kind of erupted and kind of got the chills with it. But. Just as you released that, the shot clock buzzer went off. Were you aware how little time was on the clock? I knew it was down under five. I didn't know exactly how, how far down, but... Uh, that was during an eight-point run that uh, your teammate Patrick Simon capped with a, a three-pointer of his own. Uh, you didn't hit many threes tonight, but hit, hit some big ones. Gosh, he's a stud. I think, um, I mean, he, he's been doing that for us all year, hitting big ones, and he's just such a tough matchup for teams, and uh, just has such a pure stroke. But yeah, I, I think we hit some key, timely shots, which, which enabled us to be in the position we were at that. Well, uh, not much rest for you after this win. On Saturday, you come back Saturday night against Alaska Fairbanks. And that's senior night, your last game here for the Falcons. Uh, what are your thoughts as we're going into your last game here at Brome? I'm looking forward to it. It'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. I think it's a little bit surreal. I don't think it's really set in yet, um, but it is kind of my last home game here potentially. And um, I don't know, but I, I'm excited. I'm just kind, of, kind of trying to approach it just with another, uh, just like another day in any other game. And uh, it'll be a lot of fun just uh, enjoying the guys. and. Uh, just enjoying kind of the last game here, I guess. Well, a few years ago, Falcons fans would remember a Colorado Christian team that came in here and beat the Falcons, and you were playing there, and now you're playing for the Falcons. Um, just, is there anything that stands out as a highlight of your career here in SPU? Um, I, I mean, the, kind of the first thing, honestly, was probably my first game here when we, we were able to knock off Arizona um, down there in Tucson, and uh, I, I don't know, it was a pretty special memory, but even just last year, kind of the tournament run, and Ultimately, the relationships that I built in the time here, and uh, just developed some really great friendships, and it, it's been a really fun experience. I, I've really enjoyed it a lot. Great. Uh, last thing, uh, you did mention uh, the tournament run last year. Team managed for the regional championship game. How much will that help uh, as your team approaches this year's playoffs? Yeah, I, th I think it will. I think last year, I mean, we've got. Um, a pretty core group of guys back from last year's team that experienced that, and so we do have that experience. And I think we understand uh, what it's going to take to to how hard we have to play and, and kind of doing the right things to put us in that position again. But ultimately, it's just one game at a time, and we got to take care of Saturday first. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you.